Quran clearly says that Al Qur Sul Qurnay. Yeah, 1886 Sul Qurnay yeah, found there, there sun setting in a murky water. For the 1886 thing, I looked that one up because there was a link, and so I was reading it, and it says that the verse isn't referring to a scientific reality. Instead, it's referring to if I'm sitting here, right, and I see that building, and the sun goes behind it, I'll say the sun sets behind the building or on a building, right? But that's not true. We know that that's not true, right? So it says that it was referring to the vision, the ways people see it. So then it goes on to explain, to, to give some examples that the referred phrase of the Quran is unscientific. It's just like saying, I saw the sun setting behind the mountain or the, uh, the rising of the sun, setting of the sun, when the sun's going down, implying evening, when the sun is hot. And then it says that all these phrases are unscientific because Obviously, the sun doesn't go down, it goes around and stuff. And it says that these, like the sun going down, the sun going up, the sun rising, those are all things that were mentioned in the Quran. Basically, they are saying this is scientifically uh, not accurate, what is written in the Quran. That's what they are saying. I think, I think uh, when you take it into perspective, when you read the verses before and after it, uh. Because uh, Surah Al-Kahf, that Surah, it's chapter 18, yeah. it is a story. A lot of it is, is story. Yeah. So when it's talking, I think that was a mistake I should have read before and after. Yeah. Um, that it, in the situation, it's like context clues in English when you're reading, right? You don't, you don't just take one part, you have to read the whole thing and then based on how it is. So according to the, the people you read from mm -hmm. the web, that is a, a scientific error, right? No. No, you said it's, they are scientifically I, not accurate, right? It's, it's not a scientific reality, as in it's oh, not explaining So if it is not reality, it is unreal. But it's not, it's not, ex so it's explaining it from the perspective of someone. Okay. It's not, it's not saying that the sun sets in, in the, behind the, in the, in murky water. Then what does it say? So it's, so it, it's explaining. That's what it said. You it's know, explaining to be the perspective. This is what, what I would tell you. you. Why don't you investigate on that verse little more? and get back to me uh, i will meet you in person okay uh, you know because i don't i am not you know i'm not trying to you know put your religion down in any way but if you claim that uh, there are scientific miracles uh, that's why i was pointing you to this verse it is clearly is not a reality it means as you said as others noted that it, it is not real it is not true mm -hmm. what is written there in 1886 there's that a difference not true. between not true huh? and then, so if I, if, if you look at the English language, right, and you look at like metaphors, literally, the word, me, like metaphors Metaphor. and, and, and similes, right? Yeah, similes. Or personification, all yeah. those literary devices, like yeah. when you say, like the, the leaves were dancing in the wind, right? Yeah. The leaves don't actually dance, but that doesn't mean that it's a sign, that's an error. Yeah. Right? It's, it's the way, it's, it's like using a literary device, you're explaining it as, as you see it. As it looks like. But but in 1886, there is no literal device used there. There is no metaphor at that time, used there. In the time of the Prophet, you have all these amazing poets who used all these amazing okay. things. So how could you go and say let that me, there's no literary device? Let, let, me, let me say this. Okay. So when your scholars who claim to have scientific uh, miracles in the Quran, mm -hmm. they interpret the way they want to at that time to make some verses to look like it has science. This is what they are doing. And when you see not scientifically accurate statement, then you deny that it is talking about that. Yeah, but, it's not but when you want to make okay, a okay. verse scientifically accurate, so you will say, oh, this is definitely if, if, talking if about that. So you cannot, you have to use. Verse, right? Let me take, let me yeah, pull it read up it. again. So, so it says, until when he reached the setting of the sun, uh, he found it. He right? found it. He found it. Yeah. Cool. So it's his perspective. Oh, okay. He's he found it. He like found that. it. Go ahead. So this is a story. There's a difference between when when God, when Allah is, is telling us a re revelation in the Quran, right? They're, they're worded differently. They're not. It's not from their perspective. Is this not a revelation from Allah? This is. So the whole Quran is a revelation. That's okay. A mis then, I mean, that's a misuse of words. You're yeah, right. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But there's a difference between when when God is trying to give us a scientific like fact, right, versus the perspective of someone. That's why the word he found is used. So he found it. That he is to tell you that it's his perspective. That's what he sees. Yeah, but Allah is saying this. Allah. If it is an error, do you think if Allah knew that sun is not setting in a, a pool, 
or uh, if you're writing a story, let me say, okay, why do you narrate a false story? Somebody's false understanding. In if you believe that this is the eternal word of God from Allah, describe, why do you want to, to narrate the, somebody's wrong understanding it's, about sun so setting that, somewhere? That phrase he found yeah. it setting in the sun, so, setting you know, in the you know. in the water, right? That's think of it as like explaining this, like where they are, right? So they went to a place like so he, he found before, it or not? He found sun he found setting. It, right? So they went yeah. and, and he found and he went to a place, right? Where he found that the sun sets in the water, in, in the water, right? Okay. So that's what, yeah. they, what that he true? sees, is right? Is that but, true? But he went to the place, right? Yeah. So, so what that's telling you is that the, the place he's at, it makes it look like the sun is setting. And to the person, no. to the Dhul Qarnayn, it, it, they, they, it, they may, I don't know what they may think, but they found it as if to set in the murky water. That's where the place was. That's what the setting was. Brother, if you read that verse carefully and continue to read it, you will understand that it not only say that sun set in a murky water, it also say that uh, he found some people near it. And then Allah told him to do whatever, either, you know, do with that paper, kill them or leave them alive or anything like that. So it is talking about a literal thing that happened. Allah is speaking there. Allah is narrating the story. It is as if like it is the truth. Otherwise, why would okay. you put in the Quran something which is not factual? When you're doing literature, there's something called third person, where you ha usually have an omnipotent perspective. So when you're doing that story, you're usually going to say, oh, John, blah, 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 did this. So he's reciting in that, that that's first part of sunset. And the next part where you're saying, he said all Dul Karnain, either punish him or adopt good behavior with them. He said, as for him who does wrong, we shall punish him and he will be sent back to his Lord and he will punish him with a severe punishment. Mm. As for those who believe and act righteously, mm. we will have a best life as a reward yeah. and we will speak to him politely in our directions. Yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to like, he's basically giving the story as like a third person. So he's saying what, what Dul Karnain is seeing. Uh, uh, and what he's saying, because that's how you do a story in the third perspective when you're in omnipotent view. So you're okay, right. I agree. I agree. That, it is third person, but it is not says, accurate. Everything it's not that he says is fact, right? Eh? So, so that's true. But the fact in that statement, right, is that the fact is that Dhul Qarnayn thought he not thought Dhul Qarnayn saw the so, sun setting. Yeah, right? but that's what Dhul Qarnayn saw. Yes, right. Correct. So that is, do you think Sulkarnain in fact saw sun setting in a pool of murky well, water? Why, that's why he's human. He was, right? or, or, that's why he's I not agree. God. Right? I agree. So, so he was wrong, right? No, the, if you go to the... He was wrong. If yeah, you go to... He, he, he was, was wrong. Right. He was. So... It doesn't make sense. No. Yeah. Sulkarnain, Sulkarnain. If you go to an ocean and you see the sun setting, it looks like it's setting into it water. He's not talking about ocean. Ocean if, has if a different a lake, Arabic word. If you go to a it lake, is not a ocean. It's not it about is not lake. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Sun does not set in a lake. But they don't have to use the word. When he's when he describes that I went to a so if I say I went to a place where I saw the sun setting in the water, right? That doesn't they don't have to use the word ocean, right? You could because if you go to a place and it looks like the sun setting in the water, that means that there's enough water for it to look like that. So why so why would they have to use that exact word? It doesn't say looking like, right? It says he, he found. You're right. Allah cause, is cause narrating, that's what right? Allah is saw. You know, my credibility is gone when I uh, narrate to you a false story, something which is not factual. Mm -hmm. My credibility is gone. That means I am not knowledgeable enough about the scientific things. This is Allah is saying that uh, Sulkarnain found sun setting in pool of murky water. Okay, and he found people near it. That means this is an actual event, an actual place. You're right. So, yeah. So you're right. This is an actual event in this actual place. Right? Yeah. But I, I, right now we're just going in circles. No, so, but, but so what, you, what he yeah, saw, this is what I would say. Okay. Why don't we investigate more on that verse? Otherwise, we are going. You are saying the same thing. You have my, you know, phone number, right? And email ID, right? The paper, yeah. Yeah, I have that. We would, I would be happy to sit down with you or with your scholar. Read the life and teaching of Jesus Christ in the New Testament. You will love him, his sinless life, his teachings, morals, miracles, death, and resurrection for others. 
you will love him he did not come to be served but to serve and to give his life in death for our sins he did not come to steal kill or destroy he came to give us life abundantly why don't you believe and follow him why don't you repent and receive the forgiveness and life